five years of 70 hour weeks. So you can't get an office. It's not the right time. Here. Bumper cars on your way home. The city's too full. Like, like there's too much competition. And then you you try and make the effort and reach out. Then what does it get you? You know, it's funny. I live in a building full of strangers. I doubt anyone even knows each other. Mm. A bunch of people mm. living out their individual lives, but existing collectively. It's kind of ironic. <laughs> the weirdest thing was last week. Sometimes I wonder about these people. 
You hear footsteps or music drifting from next door. Or their shower turn on just before mine does. Maybe they're bucking for a promotion too. What are their hopes? What are their dreams, plans? I wonder what ghosts haunt them. All this from a little squeak. And yet I still can't bring myself to go across that hallway. How would that conversation go? Borrow a cup of sugar? Cyanide, maybe? Oof. You know, I see a cat come from there every now and then. Maybe it's a shut-in building or something. Who am I to talk? I keep to myself, too, I suppose. And it's not that I'm quiet. I'm not quiet. It's just, when I was a kid, they told us not to talk to strangers. You know what you get when you tell a kid not to talk to anyone? You get an antisocial. <laughs> it's like they tell us this stuff and then we carry it with us all the way, all the way into adulthood. <sighs> okay, maybe that's a little dramatic, but we do. These things do affect us as adults. It's like, uh, put your best foot forward or, um, or be on your best behavior. How are, you, how are you supposed to have a meaningful relationship like that? Maybe that's not really fair. Just, I get to a point where it's not me and it's, it's too close and it just, don't even ask me about my family. Just, I can't. Just. I'm just shut. I'm, I'm closed off and I just can't. I can't, I can't, I can't. And it's not a fear of commitment. I don't think. I just get numb and then sweaty and scared. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. supposed to find somebody to understand all this. Oh, I can't put my finger on it. I just... How do you describe... I don't know what's haunting me. I don't even know what I'm saying. How, how could anyone else understand this?